Good afternoon, St. Mary's and Oskaloosa. This is Thomas Lea, Director of Religious Education. So, uh, not much to report. Uh, things have been going pretty good. Um, uh, youth group, there was like 20 kids that came uh, to youth group, I think, a couple days ago, uh, on Sunday, last Sunday. So, that was awesome. Uh, we played some softball, and then we did a little little Thoughts with Tom live series, so that was awesome. Uh, and so, yeah, things are going pretty good. Uh, the message for today, before we do the King of Hearts drawing, um, I did buy these little frames from the Dollar Tree, so it was a buck, but um, I bought a bunch of them. And so the image is called uh, the Divine Mercy image. I'd be amazed if you have not yet seen that. Um, but anyways, so it is an image of Jesus with two rays issuing from his heart, one red, one pale. The red is for mercy and the pale is for love. And it's like the blood and water that gushed forth from the heart of Jesus. But anyways, uh, so that image uh, was given to us, or was actually given to St. Faustina. And Jesus told uh, her that anyone who gazes upon this image will receive many graces. So uh, I got them all over the place. They're everywhere. Um, but anyways, so he also makes the promise that anyone who venerates this image will not be lost. Uh, so that's just like an amazing claim. Um, it almost seems like too good to be true. My friend once told me, he's like, if there's something that's too good to be true, it's, uh, it's probably not true. Um, but that's what he said, you know, so I try to, I don't, I, I just stick with what they say. Um, so yeah, so I highly recommend having an image in your house, uh, you know, doing the Divine Mercy Chapel at three o'clock um, for the salvation of the world. And uh, yeah, just making sure that uh, that is something that you do. So it's, it's just an awesome, awesome way to, uh, you know, secure our salvation. Um, and I'm not really, again, I just kind of know what he said and then I just leave it at that. I wish I could explain more. I wish there was more to say. There's really not. So, um, so yeah, so, um, and that's basically it. Uh, we can do the old, the great King of Hearts raffle. So we'll do this for a couple minutes. I feel bad because there's been people doing this since the beginning and not yet one. So I'm hoping one of those people are drawn. All right, let's see here. Okie doke. Okay, once again, Steve Phillips has been drawn. So I'm not sure how, uh, yeah, how he keeps getting that, but uh, that's the second second run. Uh, so Steve, I'll give you a call and uh, and then, yeah, you can get another chance to to win the king of hearts raffle um and then yeah until next week we're going to be playing every week until someone draws the king of hearts and the queen of hearts so uh we got plenty of time to keep on playing all right god bless you all i will keep you in my prayers and have a great day bye